Hello everyone, good time zone to you. How are you doing today? Who we got here? Oh, my chat hasn't loaded. Great start. One second. Uh, I need to open up my music. Could you uh, press play on Spotify for me, please? It should be open. Okay, there we go. Park Rush, hello. How are you doing? I saw you joined the Discord. By the way, let me know how the uh, sound is on the mic. So I was playing around with it earlier uh, because I noticed last time on the stream it was kind of breaking up a little bit. So just let me know. Or let me know if you can hear me since apparently I like starting the stream without any audio. Roman Ellis, hello. I've been looking forward to the stream all week. Well, thank you very much. This should be a mixture of easy with possibly challenging depending on how things go. But yeah, I will explain the premise in a moment, but right now you can see over there what the deal is with today's stream. Di Solari, my dear wife, hello. She's right there, hi. Is that music too loud? I feel like it might be. Is it a little muffled? How about now? Sorry for the mic noise. One sec. I'm trying to hear myself. That's better? Okay. Sorry. Mic positioning with a lavalier microphone is a little bit tricky. I'm not sure I can hear the music on the stream. Can I hear the music? Huh. Okay. Good. Sound good? Okay. Can you all hear the music? I'm going to lower it down a bit. It seems like it's a bit too loud. So I can hear it quite well from over here. Um, uh, wait, I know why. There we go. Never a baking stream without technical issues. That should be okay. Okay, where were we? Uh, yes, Rowan else. I'm starting a knitting pattern with scarf with baking motifs down the front, whisk cookie oven, etc. That sounds good. I'd wear the shit out of that. And Sophie W and Cat Lied, thank you very much for becoming a member. You will get your name on a cookie, should you wish. Uh, and we got, of course, Birdie Blake. Sumi, hello Sumi, who very generously gifted quite a few members last time. Uh, and if they are here, they will get their names down soon. Of course, you will too, Sumi. That artist named Debussy. Yes, that name wouldn't have been that funny a few years ago. But I guess that's the times we live in. Back to teasing and annoying Mr. Solari again. I mean, hey, that's the life of being a person online. You subject yourself to humiliation for engagement. I can hear a leaf blower outside. Lovely. Kelly Zahn, Mary, hello, how are you both doing? All right, music is a tad bit loud for me. Okay, let me tweak it a little bit. One second. Uh, maybe that should be okay. Okay. Don't change it. Well, I didn't change it. The track just ended. It was a good track. All right, so today's premise. As it says in the title, we will be making sugar cookies. It's a very simple, straightforward recipe. I don't even need to look up a recipe for it. I haven't memorized it, it's that simple. Um, so, as it says in the corner, uh, if you remember, or if you leave a super chat of $3 or more, I will uh, write your name on a cookie in some icing. Uh, we'll choose the color of it and everything, of course. Uh, but yeah, also, uh, if you do become a member, what I will say is that if you want your name written on a cookie or if you don't want it, just say so. Uh, I should have a decent batch of cookies available. I think I've got 36 altogether, possibly more, but it depends on the size of the cutter that I use. But what I'm gonna do is get into it right away uh, I'll try and chat at the same time because it's, like I said, it's a pretty simple recipe. Syndrome Noir, my dear patron, finally managed to catch a live stream. I'm glad you did. 
Nice to have you here. Glacial, cre glacial creations, cookies for Camu, indeed. Yeah, so uh, just to explain um, what's been happening with him and why I'm at the point where I'm asking people if they can help out with it. Uh, he's had numerous issues. Now, one of the big ones being that he has, uh, for quite a few years now, had asthma. Uh, we have to give him an inhaler every single day, obviously. Inhalers, as you can imagine, aren't cheap for cats. So, <clears throat> you know, that's one thing. And we, you know, cope with that cost, that's fine. But he's been to the, vo the vets for quite a few days now. Uh, how many visits has he had? Like four, five? Four visits, yeah. He's had four visits, including this morning, uh, because he's had some issues with his liver and he also has like a heart issue. Um, but the liver thing is the thing that's been problematic recently. So they can't really figure out what it is. Um, and you know, they've given him x-rays, they've given him blood tests. Uh, he seems to be doing all right, but one of the issues that he's had is that he's basically not being able to poop and you know, that can cause some problems. Uh, but there's no blockage or anything like that. So we've got him on antibiotics right now. He's on a steroid. He's on an anti-nausea medication because he was waking up at like 3 a.m. just to throw up, which, you know, is kind of unusual for cats. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll see if the antibiotics work with him, but sorry. Oh yeah, he also got, uh, to help with his uh, bowel issues, uh, he got some fluids today and he kind of looks a bit inflated right now. It, I won't lie, even though it's kind of a sad situation for him, it is kind of funny looking at him. Uh, we'll try and post a picture in the Discord later on. If he comes nearby, we'll get some nice footage of him. Uh, but yeah, he's gone through the ringer. And as a result, yeah, that ends up being pretty damn costly. So yeah, we're in a position where we end up having to ask people. So if you are feeling generous, you know, you can donate any amounts. You can donate through Super Chat. There is links underneath the stream in the description as well, if you prefer another method. Or you can become a member. Membership is just $2.99, $2.99 US. Uh, you know, you can continue being a member, member or you can just do one month. It's perfectly fine either way. But if you do donate a super chat or if you do become a member, uh, just say in the chat that you'd like your name on a cookie and I shall oblige you. Um, but like I said, I'm going to get started right away on this just because I've got to get the cookies made first and quickly because the majority of the time will be spent writing the name on the cookies, uh, which we'll be doing with a royal icing kind of thing. Not exactly royal icing, uh, but yeah, still works just as well. So let's go. All right. First quick look. I'm also cooking while watching. What are you cooking, Mary? Aerate the butter and sugar. Oh wait, that's cake. <laughs> I never aerate it for cake, if I'm honest. I mean, I just bring it to room temperature. Uh, oh yeah, so uh, ingredients. So very simple, straightforward. We're gonna have 480 grams of all-purpose flour, 200 grams of sugar, quarter, three quarter teaspoons of baking powder, three quarter teaspoons of sugar, uh, two sticks of butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs, room temperature as well. That's all you need for it. Uh, but the flour, I'm gonna have to sift it first, uh, just because you wanna avoid getting lumps inside of the cookies, because, um, you know, no one likes flour lumps. But before we sift it, I'm going to cream up the butter and sugar together. <coughs> Bake lorry. So, see, that's thing is with Solari as a name, it's not very punnable. Like, yes, there's words that rhyme with it, like Safari, Ferrari, Salami, like all that kind of stuff. But as puns go, it's limited. Much love to the poor kitty. Indeed, yeah, like I said. I mean, on the plus side, he still has a decent amount of, I was about to throw that butter in the bin. <laughs> Uh, on the plus side, he has a decent amount of energy, you know, he's still being very friendly. Um, 
Although he is like reluctant. He's, he's in a weird place right now where like he wants to eat but is reluctant to eat. Uh, so I like, will put food out in front of him and he'll go to the bowl and we'll just be like, mm, you know. But yeah, I mean hopefully he should be fine in time. Um, believe that should be the case. It doesn't seem like anything too serious but you know, trying to figure out what it is and why it's happening is the thing that has been costly. More like slow R. I mean, I am, I'm pretty fast at baking when I'm not trying to interact at the same time. No offense. What happened? Why is there baking for money? Well, uh, as I was explaining earlier, yeah, my cat has had numerous visits to the vet recently due to his issues with his liver. <clears throat> We've had about four vet visits. We'll probably need another one very soon. X-rays, blood work, the works really, uh, just to figure out what's wrong with him. And of course, treatments as well. Like I said, he had to have a bunch of fluid injected into him today. So it kind of looks like one of those obese cats that you'll see on the internet that drags their belly on the floor. Which, you know, even though it's unhealthy, like I said, it's kind of funny. Pun challenge 2004. Good luck with it. <clears throat> if you can figure out the Solari pun, more power to you. All right, so 200 grams of sugar and two sticks of butter, which amounts to 225 or 226 grams, I believe. Come on, don't spill any. There we go. I'm going to set this aside to use for the flour. Okay. Going to be a bit of noise from the mixer, so bear with me for a bit. I'll try and move away for a little bit. The poor kitty cat, yeah. It's the perils of pet ownership, unfortunately. Tremolo, or Tremolo, how are you doing? I'll shield it like that. Salary cookies for the average salary man. Well, the Japanese, Koreans, all those people do love a good cookie. Why do we call it salary man in the West? That's a good name, I think. Let me know if it's too loud, by the way. I am going to have to turn it up in a moment. Oh boy. That's the problem with make, working with a stand mixer. It just gets too loud. That'll just be a couple minutes. There's some good news. The blood work they did today showed the treatments are working and his liver values are starting to improve. That's true, yeah. So he is on the mend. Just gotta get him moving his bowels again. Not a lovely sound, but it's fine. That's good. See, I'd love to be able to make meringue on stream. Like, I really, make, I really enjoy making stuff with meringue in it. But if I wanted to make meringue, I would have to have this thing on full blast for about five, six minutes, if not longer. Uh, so what I would probably do in a situation like that is just go on a break during it because there's no way anyone want to hear it. In fact, there's a little experiment. Do you want to see what this sounds like on full wax? Not great. Just a stranger with a playlist for you. Thank you very much for your donation. Greatly appreciated. For the cat. Indeed. Mute the mic and just dance through it. I don't dance. Look at me. Is this a dancer you see before you? Too bad you can't just give him some bran muffins or some strong coffee. And have that fix the problem. See, I thought that we we're gonna. We thought at first that we we're gonna give him a laxative, but apparently there wasn't really anything in there according to the X-rays, um, which you know was kind of a surprise. There wasn't anything in there, was there? There wasn't a blockage. Okay, so he ha he doesn't have a blockage, but it's full of shit basically. So yeah, it's not passing. 
Tremolo, Tremolo, thank you very much for becoming a cool person. Would you like your name on a cookie? And also, if you are a current member, once again, just let me know if you want a name on a cookie. I'll oblige. Coffee and a cigarette, that is a good way to clear up, yeah. Coffee especially, that just runs right through you. Okay, that should be good. Let me just scrape down the sides just to make sure everything is incorporated. You know, I wish I could remove these things. They're very obstructive when it comes to being in front of a camera. Okay. You know, fun fact for you, since I've started streaming, I've lost about a thousand subscribers because I guess people don't want to see that stuff on their feed. You know, I don't know who goes out of the way to unsubscribe to people other than it's like malice or something. It's a little blast on high. I'll step away from it. Okay, that should be good. I'm not sure what's going on and why certain people can't send donations with a Dutch debit card. That is unusual. Does it say that it's prohibited in your country or something? Like I said though, if you do want to send it through anything else, uh, there's other methods in the uh, description below. Uh, I've got coffee. Of course, if you want to become a patron, that's there too. And there is a stream elements direct uh, tip thing as well. That goes like into my PayPal, I think. Sorry, my ear is very itchy. My ears are clean, I'm not being gross. Okay, so I think you can see it with the webcam. No, let me bring it up. Yeah, so there we go. Nice and fluffy sugar and butter there. You could eat that straight for breakfast or something. Okay, so let me get this scraped off. Okay. So now we have to sift some flour. Well, uh, what just happened? Subscriber. Well, thank you for subscribing. I can't see it from here for some reason. Hmm? Sumi tipped in. Uh, well, thank you very much, Sumi. Thank you. Very kind of you. Uh, well, I'm assuming it was through Streamlabs, because, Stream Elements, because, uh, yeah, I didn't pop up on the chat thing. Oh, wait, there it is. Odd. I would have thought it would have shown up on the uh, other chat thing. But thank you very much, Sumi. Very kind of you. You have no other choice. It's okay, it's perfectly fine. Like you say, you get your name on a copy anyway. We're still here for you, bro. Well, thank you very much. Message doesn't pop up there. I saw it in the chat thing on screen, but yeah, I didn't see it in the YouTube chat. It's fine now. It's appreciated either way. I'll have to look into it. Those people are weak and will not survive the winter. Indeed, may a pox fall upon them, or whatever people say in ye olde speech. Okay, let me move this laptop out of the way a bit, just so it's not obscuring shit. Hope the cat feels better soon. I'm sure he will, yeah. As I say, it's just a lot that he's been through, and obviously, uh, the stress of going through all these visits and everything because you know no cat likes going to the vet apart from Curie she's an angel like 
Everyone loves Kiri, regardless of where she goes. She's calm and polite, all that kind of stuff. So when she goes to the vet, they're in love with her immediately. Camus, though, is kind of like that sort of the way that he deals with stress or being in stressful situations. He just goes limp. He just goes limp, which makes him easy to work with. But like, apparently the vet's assistant just uh, held him like a baby and he just didn't do anything about it. It's just like, oh, whatever. This is my life right now. They do love him for it though. Also, hello, Star. How are you doing? Nice to see you here. To be fair, I feel better directly donating than YouTube getting a huge cut. Yeah, YouTube the, YouTube isn't as bad as, say, Twitch. Because uh, I think Twitch takes like 50-50 or something like that. They might have changed it recently. Uh, YouTube takes a third of memberships. Uh, and I think Super Chats as well. Maybe the Super Chat? I'm not too sure. But yeah, they're definitely a bit more magnanimous when it comes to uh, earning through their platform. But yeah, donations through PayPal or stream elements, like those are great just because it's uh, untampered with. Okay, so we need 480 grams of all-purpose flour sifted. I probably should have done this in two parts because that's a lot of flour to sift. 476, 480, bang on. Okay, yeah, sifting a large volume is a pain, but we'll see. I'll also go over the icing ingredients in a bit, it's super simple. Uh, also, I will add the baking powder to it now. I just put through $3 in coffee, please put for the cat on the cookie. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I just got a notification about it through my emails. Yes, I did. Uh, let me note that down. I should probably be noting down names. Have you been? Okay, thank you very much. My wife is noting down the names. She's also working too. I'll try and call it out when it happens. But yeah, my wife's noting it down right now. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Like I get 20%. Oh, well. Camu is throwing up right now, unfortunately. So, yeah. Did he take his nausea medication? He gets it later this afternoon. Okay, he's not had it yet. Star, thank you very much. $25 tip. Very generous. This is really helping out. Uh, what would you like written on your cookie? Thank you very much, Star. Very nice of you. I need three quarters of baking powder donated through have i already read this donated through coffee one coffee for camu and one for you let's see oh this is going to be hard to take to keep track of everything oh. let's see how my cat is just see how i'm just going to see how camu is one second Yeah. yeah, still not doing great, unfortunately. But he hasn't taken his nausea medication today, has he? 24 hours? Oh. Uh, maybe it's the fluids that they gave him. Hmm? This is an interesting twist on this stream. Uh, I put one in there already, I believe. Yeah, trying to keep my shit together in this circumstance. Bear with me. Okay, one more, three quarter teaspoons. Right, did you note down Star's name? And mm. 
Cookie's fine, just having my name on it. No message needed, that's good. Shorter the better, because these aren't gonna be huge cookies. Rather than my name, can you draw a cat on the cookie? Oh my God, uh, I will try my best. Okay, get this. Three quarter teaspoons of salt. You know what, I'll put that in afterwards since it doesn't need sifting. Okay, my wife is trying to deal with an Excel spreadsheet of requests and all that stuff. And I have to delicately sift this because I don't want it to fly everywhere. And drink water. Have my beverage here. <clears throat> Take a break if you need. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. He's right there. So he's within eyesight. Um, yeah, like I say, he did just throw up a little bit. It was just a very small amount. But uh, he hasn't eaten today, so I'm yeah, not sure what the uh, yeah. deal would be behind that. Tanda, thank you very much for your $10 donation. Very much appreciated. Yeah. And Kitty Ice, thank you for your 5 euro donation. Uh, if, yeah, whatever you would like writing on a cookie, whether it's your name or if you like something else, try to keep it short um, because we don't have much space on them. Uh, just let me know and we'll take note of it. Camu baby go. Yeah, he's going through it. I'm on mobile and forgot to add a message. That's fine. But yeah, whatever you would like put on a cookie, just let me know. Or if you don't want anything written on it, that's perfectly fine as well. If you just want to donate, no problem. Okay, and yeah, if you are a current member as well and you want something on there, just let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna whisk. Just to mix all these bits together. Smooch his head for me. I will do it from a distance. I gotta admit, well, my wife will smooch his head. She doesn't mind that. Me though. I'm not a big fan of kissing fur. Hmm? Even dogs, yeah. Okay. You gang. I guess I'm still part of that gang, technically. Well, not European Union gang. You can't say that when you have a beard and a wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Before I put this in there, I need to put in two eggs one at a time. So we're gonna start mixing it up again. Uh, cats are so soft to give them a kiss, but I get it, yes. But I get, I don't know, I get like, for, cause you know, two cats in a small apartment, like fur just flies everywhere naturally and gets on our hardwood or fake hardwood floors and you know it just is everywhere and one annoying thing that I end up encountering is that like I have pretty naturally pretty big tonsils so every now and then I'll just get like a little cat hair stuck on there and gives me like a coughing fit for like 20 30 minutes something like that gets in your food in your face and all of those yeah and your drinks as well you'll just like see a little fine hair just floating in there I blame Kiri mostly, since she's the very fluffy one. Maybe you can draw paw print if it's not too much of a bother. Otherwise, you can also write kitty. I can try paw print. Yeah. I said, I'm not a, an amazing piper, but I'm willing to try. Okay, so we'll do one at a time. These are very soft eggshells too, so I've got to be careful. Let me get the bin ready and some paper towel. I do not like the mess from eggs. Okay. One. We'll mix that in. I broke the yolk. That's embarrassing. 
Can you try Yoko Taro face someone for me? I can try, yeah. I'll have to pull up an image real quick, but yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. I'll bring a lunch to work and see a little cat hair in it. It gets everywhere. Like, it just, it is inescapable. Some yolks are just fragile. Yes, they are, yeah. These ones are some fancy uh, pasteurized eggs that uh, my mother-in-law gave us. So, yeah, they're a little bit different in that respect. Nicer. Okay. And put in the second one. And that one stayed together. What a professional. Okay. Wash my hands in a second. I've given up trying not to have hair on my clothes as a goth with two cats and a dog. Yeah, if you're a fellow black wearer, it's even more of a nightmare in that respect. Has he gone missing? Hmm? Um. Hmm. Well, apparently Camus has gone elsewhere afterwards, so my wife is just looking around for him. Uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just going to eyeball this. Because I have a good idea of what a teaspoon looks like now. That is weird. We own cats and I never got hairs on anything other than pants slash shirt. But our kitchen was clean. Never had cat hair on my food. It depends on the kind of cat that you have, I think. Like some of them just naturally shed way more. Um, but yeah, both of ours just shedding maniacs. Like they, they shed like they're getting paid to shed. With the reptiles I've started to, the reptiles I've started to find shed too. Ooh. So is that just skin everywhere? If Camus goes elsewhere, they need to be outside. Yeah, Camus is not an outdoor cat. He would not survive outdoors. Zumi, thank you once again. Another time gifting people. How kind of you. Uh, that means animated 21, doodle, oodle. Uh, Micah, a maker, schlups, and Zoe B. Dear Zoe B is here as well. You just gifted a sub membership to famous YouTuber Zoe B. <laughs> Collect your cookies. Yes, if you want your name written on the cookie, uh, or if you don't, it's perfectly fine. It's your choice. Uh, just say what you would like written on it, whether it's your name. But do try keep it short. Once again, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to turn this on high a little bit and step away for a second. Actually, before I do that, I need to scrape it down. How are you doing, Zoe? Nice to see you here. Did you find him? Oh. He was about to go into the bed, so he's probably not feeling great. But... Hmm? Oh, it went into the closet, which is his comfort space. Yeah, once I'm on a break, I'll try and look into him a bit more. Just what I'm doing here is a bit time sensitive, so sorry about that. But, you know, got to make sure he's okay. My wife's looking after him right now. All my cool friends in the memberships, that's true. Uh, yeah, Sumi just gifted five memberships on it. Okay, gonna turn it up a little bit, just to make sure it's fully creamed. Uh, and I will step over there for a moment, because I've got to mix it for about a minute or two on a relatively high speed. So one second. can't read from here. Oh 
Okay, that should be good. Uh, where's my phone? Gotta get the phone cam shots too. Okay, please work. This is the most temperamental app that I have. Come on, fucking work. One sec. There we go. That's flower. All right, yep. Not the most appealing, I won't lie, but there is our mix. Should we turn on a flash to make it uglier? There we go. Looks a bit like wet scrambled eggs, but it's nice. Okay. So let's see. What's going on? I just got to give you a gifted a membership by Diasumi. Very generous person, that one. Next thing we donate for money for binoculars so I can read from a distance. We actually do have a pair of binoculars. Uh, my wife uh, lo likes bird watching, so she likes having a pair, of ha pair at hand uh, just so she can spot things. There was an owl not too long ago that was hanging out around here. An owl who we never found just because it sounded like it was right side up, right outside of our window in a tree because there's a forest nearby. But apparently barn owls can be heard from up to like a mile, so it could have been anywhere. Opera glasses. I'd love some opera glasses. Gonna bring those back in style. Solari is posh. Define posh. Because if you ever microwaved a donut, then ate it over the sink, because that's my level of posh. I don't do that often, but you know, I won't deny I've done that before in my life. It was a pretty bad time. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, just getting the last bits off there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take this flour mixture and we're gonna gradually put it in this. We don't want to over mix because if you do that, it can end up resulting in far denser cookies. Now, I planned a little bit ahead of time with this one because with the recipe in particular that I'm working with, you have a British accent. <laughs> have you heard some of the other British accent out there like Cockney? All right, love, I'm off down apples and pears to go and meet me, me trouble and strife. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, I need a sad boy thinker. Yeah, that's, I'll give you that one. But yeah, with this recipe, now the recipe itself is super simple, super quick. Uh, but the recipe that I'm following, uh, Birdie, thank you very much for joining the cool people. Uh, what would you like as your name? Thank you, it's very kind of you. I know you work as an artist and, you know, money isn't exactly flowing in for those of you in the creative field. I would know, but thank you. I'm, that means a lot to me. Um, my favorite British accent is the Paradise Punch Lemonade meme. I'm not sure. I don't think Paradise Punch Lemonade. I think I heard it. It was like sold, sold in like Aldi or something from what I remember. I, don't know, I never saw the meme, I just know the drink and people went weirdly crazy about it. I love any cookie so long as it's not coconut. Coconut is good in a Samoa and maybe like if, because there's like, there's a Lebkuchen biscuit, which you can have with a layer of cookie coating on it. But generally it's not one of those flavors I go out of my way for. I don't dislike it, but you know. All right, so yeah, with this recipe, it's very easy and quick to put together the dough. Uh, however, it does require two hours of chilling time. Uh, this, is, this makes it so that when it is ready and rolled out and you cut it out, when you put it in the oven, it makes it so that it retains its shape. So 
I didn't want to have it so that people had to wait around for two hours just to wait for cookies to get cool. As such, bear with me. Oh God. And I've always wanted to say this. Here's one I made earlier. So yeah, I made two separate batches, which this will be the exact amount of that. And I made these in advance just so that they can be prepared and ready to go. So I'm going to leave these out for about 15, 20 minutes just to soften up a bit. And then as soon as we're done with this, I'll wrap those up too. And they might be ready to roll out and cut by the time that I finish with these ones. Uh, but we'll see because, you know, you got to get them good and chilled. I could try putting them in the freezer, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But yes. I come prepared. I thought we'd have to, yeah, I, I know like, you know, waiting two hours. I mean, you know, two hours of talking, it's not terrible. And maybe like I could play a game or something, but you came here to watch baking. So yeah, it's one of those things, like some of the things that I like to bake aren't necessarily the most time efficient when it comes to doing it on stream. Like I really like baking bread, for example, but if you wanted to make like a loaf of basic white bread, uh, putting together the recipe is really quick. It's like five or six ingredients, really basic ones. Um, and then once you've got that all boiled together, you have to wait for 90 minutes for it to rise or prove. Then once you've done that, you flatten it out, shape it up into a loaf shape, and then you wait another 90 minutes and then you have 25 minutes of cooking time to go on top of that or baking time so yeah as much as i would like to make it and show people how simple it is it's not the most conducive to making on a stream maybe one day i'll figure out how to two hours of you talking scheduled programming not complaining yeah i mean we'll see how it goes i took a clonopin earlier so i'm pretty relaxed and I can handle prolonged conversation, I think. I bet he feels he has a 500 IQ now. I mean, I don't feel it, I know it. <laughs> but yeah, I made those like late last night, so I was like, <sighs> cause if this didn't chill within that uh, window of time, cause you know, <clears throat> realistically, if I was to like, let this chill on stream, most I could probably get away with is like 30 minutes or something, I reckon. So yeah, had to be properly prepared. All right, so with the rest of this mixture, I am going to gradually pour in this sifted flour and I will make sure that electronics are out of the way just so I don't get flour inside of that. So that happened once before. Okay, take that out, because otherwise it will cause damage. I'm going to mix it on low to start with, so it shouldn't be very loud. There's a bunch of stuff stuck on there. I will not lick it because that has raw egg in it. But I will taste the batter when that's ready. There's a fucking cat hair in it. See what I'm talking about? Where'd that even come from? There's no cats nearby. Ugh. Good lord, no escape. You know, when I visited England uh, to my parents' house, they don't have any cats anymore, just two dogs. Well, they had two dogs, one sadly passed away. Um, and what part of visiting there was so nice that I got to spend my days without any hairs or very minimal hairs on black clothing. I was like, ah, oh, I remember this. This was nice. Return your cats, they got the wrong hair. <laughs> I wish there was some kind of treatment for cat hairs that would just keep it in them. Gonna need to know those who stared directly at an eclipse yesterday. I use the special glasses. Although I won't lie, I've been tempted to see if my, ha my eyes can handle it. I've never tried though. I've heard it's bad for you. Oh. 
mix it up. I'm just gonna do this one scoop at a time. And I'll tell you what, I'll try and adjust this so we get a good overhead cam shot. If it's too cumbersome though, I may have to nix it. All right. Is that good? Not really. I don't know, whatever. Running on low. Just put one scoop at a time. Let it incorporate. You don't want to have to fully mix it. Just, you know, as soon as you start seeing the flour being less present in there, it's good to put in the next one then. switch back and move this away just so the sound isn't too bad. Dog hair can get everywhere depending on the dog. Uh, we had a Bichon Frise dog which was adorable uh, but it would be she was a hypoallergenic dog as well so she like never shed any fur and that was great but we also had a Jack Russell too called Patch uh, and because he's a very nervous dog, uh, he sheds more than most. But it's still not bad. It's still not as bad as cats by any extent. Anyways, YouTube memberships are cheaper than Twitch and more of it goes towards the creator, but I'll still probably have to cancel soon. That's perfectly fine, yeah. You know, if you need to cancel, I totally get it. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, enjoy the perks. And as part of the perks, not only do you get the custom emotes from my channel, but uh, members, I updated it recently, members and patrons will now get early access to new videos, uh, ad-free early access to new videos which with any luck should be done by the end of this week but do not hold me to that because what with all the issues with Camus it has been very difficult to find a workflow this week we gave a corgi a bath yesterday and she's been slowly shedding what we missed in big chunks she hates us combing her. That's unusual, because dogs usually love a good brushing. But you know, different personalities and whatnot. All right, so I'm just gonna dump this into it. Oh. Okay. And let me scrape down the sides just to make sure it all gets a turn. See, if you over mix this one, it can end up making the batter far too dry. And then it makes it much harder to work with. And you can try and counteract it by adding more flour to it, but you know. If you add more flour, it makes it a bit more drier as well. Not the end of the world, but not the outcome you were hoping for. Kind of like life, really. Has the music stopped? Okay, there it goes. I'm not a dog person, but I love corgis. So that's the thing, despite owning two cats, I would say I naturally default to being a dog person. And that's just because I grew up with dogs and cats. And, you know, when you're in that position, they sort of vie for your attention a decent amount. And the dogs would end up winning. Um, in fact, a friend of ours uh, brought round their, I think it was Datsun Bassett mix. That's in Beagle mix, an adorable little dog called Millie. And I fell in love with her immediately. Um, yeah, so sweet. A little bit more mixing. 
I want a husky. Yeah, huskies are great. They can be very loud, um, especially when you clean them. But huskies, yeah, they are gorgeous. Like those piercing blue eyes and that wonderful cut. They do shed like crazy though, uh, from what I've heard. Yeah, if I had the space, I would really love a corgi, uh, husky. I want a Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniel is supposed to be really nice too. I've always wanted a pug. Um, and it was a case where like, there was one point in time where I really wanted one. And then suddenly, became, suddenly pugs became really popular on the internet. And as a result, people started jacking up the prices of pugs. So they went from being like $400 dogs to like $1,200. So it's like, hey, you want to make memes out of this thing, right? So uh, pony up for it. I just like how they look, pugs. They're like, it would always be the case where it's like, they always have a look on their face, which is like eternally entertaining just cause they look so goofy. Uh, so yeah, maybe one day, who knows? I'd be happy with any dog to be honest. I haven't had one in my life for so long that I'm at the point where I was like, you know what, I'll take whatever. All right, dough is ready. Sly Fox, hello, how are you doing? Lurking while you're at working. Well, glad to have you here nonetheless. You know, as the stream says, we are trying to raise a bit of cash for the vet bills for Camus, which, you know, he might be going for another visit soon since he threw up as we were on stream. Uh, but we'll see. I think we should just like give him a day or something. See how it turns out that way. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because last night we gave him his nausea medication, but it might not have taken because he threw up shortly afterwards, didn't he? Well, yeah. But we'll see. We can give it another nine. I'm just trying to get this into a ball shape. One second. Eh, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty dense to work with this, but that's good. That's the texture that you want. Now I'm about to get my hands dirty, so I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, pull up my bootstraps, because that's physically possible, apparently. Kitty troubles, hope they feel better soon. Indeed, yeah, hopefully he should. You know, like I said, he's generally got a good mood and you know, we just gotta work on his appetite right now. Uh, we'll try, you know, like those tube treat things you can get for cats where it's like they, it's in like a tube, it's full of weird liquidy cat food. It's kind of gross, if I'm honest. Uh, he had some of that earlier and really enjoyed it. Okay, we've got a nice clean surface here. So I'm going to dump this out onto it, make a little bit of space. D and D down and dirty. That's D and D after dark. Well, personally, I would like to propose that D and D be renamed to D's and D's because you know they're plural. You guys are doing the best you can. Bless you guys for loving him this much. Yeah, we try, you know, it's easy to give up on this stuff and I won't lie, there have been moments where I'm just like, oh God, I can't cope with this anymore. Because I also have like family issues that are going on in the UK, which I have a very limited amount of control over it, other than being able to offer emotional support to my parents, cause they've had some pretty serious health issues. Uh, so yeah, I don't really wanna get into it. I might talk about it someday. I've been sort of trying to keep it private because uh, it has been pretty serious. But maybe one day, you know, something to do with my mother. But hopefully she's on the mend right now. Unfortunately, I can't have pets. Just a big spider. I like to think of him as a pet. I mean, yeah, that counts as a pet. Right, I'm just trying to round this up. I'm trying to be fancy with it.
Let me get this out of the way. <coughs> so what we're gonna do with this is make it into a bit of a, not really a ball, but just a mound that looks fairly even. And then we are going to cut it in two and wrap it with cling film or plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. In the UK, we call it cling film and not, nothing else. But I know like in the US, they call it ceram wrap, among other things. Let me wash my hands first. Hmm? No, I can preheat it now though. And these things bake pretty quickly as well. We're gonna set the oven at 375 and the bake time should be anywhere between eight to 12 minutes. And we'll just be looking for the browning at the bottom of the cookies because the top needs to be a bit pale. I need to make sure my hands are completely dry before handling this because otherwise it can really mess with the consistency. So if you're ever looking for proper dryness when you are drying your hands, use two different towels because when one of them is absorbed with water, it makes it much harder and much more strenuous. No, no, D&D &D needs to become BMBL, basements and big lessons. <laughs> yeah? I like that too. See with the basement thing, I thought you were going in a different direction then of talking about people that live in their basements playing D&D. &D. Would you know? If you see that as a burn, it's sort of a self burn because I play D&D &D too. Cling film gang. Cling film. Put your hands in the oven nice and dry, yeah? Got a ninja right there, I'll blast my hands to smithereens. Okay. Real advice, never do that. Mm. Well, speaking of real advice, you should never do this, but I'm gonna try this batter raw. Mm. Good shit. Don't do that at home. Raw egg, salmonella, etc. All right, I'm gonna get this knife here and I'm gonna slice it in twain. Fancy knife tricks, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go about halfway through. I try to be accurate. I should use a bench scraper for this, but I'm too lazy for it. It's good though. <laughs> you can thank Star for the basements and Big Liz's rename. Oh, of course. And Star is responsible for every atrocity. Okay, just trying to round this up a bit. It's difficult to get perfectly round just because if it starts like rolling on the counter, it'll start sticking too much. Oh my God. One second. Who sent me $300? Am I reading that right? I got a PayPal notification of $300. State your name for the record, please. Because thank you so much, that's really nice. Oh my God, that's like the biggest donation I've ever gotten. You're reading that right. Is that you, Von Rick? Did it pop up on the stream? Did it? Am I missing something? It did? Okay. Sorry, I'm not getting notifications on here. It's really kind of a mess. Thank you so much, Von Rett. That, my God, like that is the largest donation I've ever got. It is genuinely gonna go a really long way. You've basically just paid for an entire vet bill at that point, one of the more expensive ones. Like x-rays ain't cheap. Uh, what would you like? Yeah, I can do your big cookie for that one. I've got different cutters. Uh, do you want your name written on a cookie? Uh, or something else on it? But God damn, thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm not a big reactor. Like, I'm not someone that, like, is a typical stream reactor where I lose my shit. But seriously, thank you. That is so nice of you. That's a cookie cake. <laughs> I've never made a cookie cake before, but despite being a big fan of cookies, I'm not a huge fan of cookie cakes. Maybe I can make my own, make it better. 
Oh my god. Thank you. So you don't need your name on a cookie, just to clarify. Because yeah, either way, you know, I say it's fine. If you do want my, if you just want to offer support, that's perfectly okay. If you wanna get your name on there, that's fine too. But geez, thank you. I keep saying thank you for it just because I'm terrible at uh, expressing uh, overwhelming feelings. But yes, thank you. I'll say it last time there. No need for a name or anything. Okay, I respect that. Okay, that should be good. I right, need to get out the cling film now. I was not expecting that, if I'm honest with you. I'm kind of one of those people that doesn't really expect good things to happen to them. I know that sounds really sort of self-defeating and a little bit pessimistic, but it's one of those things where it's like history teaches you certain things, like your past experiences, like, you know, you end up feeling from that history of like expecting things and those things not working out so well, you end up finding yourself in a position where it's just like, I want to hope for this thing. I want to see some kind of silver lining in it. And then it just ended up being the case where it's like, no, nah, don't feel that way because you might be disappointed by it. Uh, I try to work on that, but yeah, stuff like that really, opens your mind up to the idea that there are people out there that are so generous, so thoughtful, that they'll be willing to give up a decent amount of their time and their help to change your mind, basically. Even if it's just temporarily, that little glimpse into human kindness can make all of the difference. So, with cookies, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wrap these up and then we will work on the batch that I made last night. I am limited on space here. Okay, oh my god. Try and delicately push this shit aside. Okay. So let me put that on there. Put it in the center. I'm going to squash these down into disc sizes and I'm going to use scissors to cut cling film because I can never get it to cut with the teeth that they put on the box. I don't know if it's me being bad or the teeth being bad, but I can never get successful with it. Okay, so wait, flatten first because you flatten it down because you're going to be cutting the, you're going to be rolling it out and then cutting the shapes out of it. Uh, and you know, with this, you can cook, you can cut whatever shapes that you want. doesn't matter. It could be, you know, fun dinosaur shapes, a circle, a crimbus tree, a dreidel, uh, a dick, <laughs> but you can do whatever you want with it. It'll hold its shape. Um, so yeah, that's just preparing it in advance. Is this going to be big enough? Yes, okay. Do an overhead. Yeah, so make sure it's good and tight. And that there's no air escaping from it. Because these are gonna go, gonna go in the fridge for, like I said, about two hours. So we may return to these, but the ones that we're going to be using today are going to be the ones that I made last night. We'll see how they turn out by the end of it. But either way, we have a very large yield of cookies available here. Because these are supposed to, these two are supposed to yield 36 cookies if you use two and a half inch uh, cutters for it, circular cutters. ADHD, autism, and trauma combined to make it hard for you to ever feel excited. Yeah, it's, you know, as, as someone with ADHD and, you know, if I'm honest, I've never been tested to see whether I'm on the spectrum, but I do have a fair amount of signs that would indicate I do. Uh, like, I mean, the big one, to be honest with you, is just I'm terrible with eye contact. Even looking at the camera feels like it's a 
level of vulnerability that I'm not willing to give up. Uh, and even with my wife as well, you know, who I've known going on 10 years now. Uh, even with her, like I find times I'm just like, I can't hold it for long enough. Um, but yeah, like stuff like that, it does impede a person's ability to feel certain extremes of emotions. And it kind of makes you feel like an arsehole at the time, because like, you know, you can get a friend that comes along and be like, oh, I'm getting married, I got a great new job or something. And the most that you can muster up in that situation is just like, oh, that's really good. And, you know, they're there expecting you to go, oh, <laughs> I can't do that. I feel silly if I do that. But it doesn't mean that I'm not proud of them or, uh, you know, happy for them or whatever you want to put it. Okay. Hmm? I do smell a bit of burning, but I think it's just some stuff that's at the bottom of the oven. It needs to be cleaned. Okay, then we wrap this. And what I will do is, what time is it? Okay, I will take a quick break after I'm done put these in the fridge since we know how this happens now. And I will get the other stuff ready because now once we get these all cut out and once we get them cooked or baked, we'll start the writing. So that should be good. Nice disc. Good. God, I really do need to clean my oven. Smell the burning. Quick hand wash. I'm sorry about this, but as I've explained before, I am someone who likes to clean as I go, just so I don't have a whole ordeal to have to clean up afterwards. But I'm very quick though. And excuse the noises. for you as well if you ever use mixing bowls or even baking bowls uh, it is a good idea to occasionally wash them with white vinegar because that manages to because you know if you're using the same bowls with different materials inside of them all the time whether it's like flowers liquids etc that will get into the finish of it over time uh, which, if you do something like make a meringue, can actually affect the consistency of it. Uh, so, it is good to use white vinegar just because it can completely kill off any of the impurities there. That is my oven. Sumi, once again, my lord, is there no end to your generosity? Thank you very much. We're gonna get a bunch of pings now. Craig was gifted a membership. Sarah Quick, the Mighty Mittens. Tim Holobo or Holoba, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Data Zaster. Well, thank you very much, Sumi. Enjoy your memberships, people. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to uh, get your name written on a cookie, just say it out loud uh, and we'll get that sorted out for you. I do like the videos that he puts out. I'm able to help out. You are very generous. Yeah, I, I appreciate you saying that. It's since the new year, I won't lie, I've had a hard time. I've had a bunch of expenditures, especially the cat stuff. Uh, you know, life stuff getting in the way as well. It's been a whole cacophony of stuff. Uh, stuff which I haven't spoken about out loud or anything, just for the sake of privacy. So when people go out of their way to help, like, it really does mean a lot to me. Like, it's, the kind of thing where like, I do kind of want to cry about it at times. It's, it's so nice 
to see people going out of their way for stuff like that. Um, yeah, it does affect me. That's a weird thing. Like when it, you know, even though I find it hard to get excited about stuff, it's when I am like really touched about a gesture that someone makes, I'm more likely to cry than I am to go woo about the whole thing. And I'm fine with crying, you know, no big deal. All men should be allowed to cry and express themselves. Contrary to what my dad said growing up. But yeah, if you would like your name put on a cookie, whether you're a super chat or a member, current or new, uh, just let me know and we'll take note of it. Someone is nice to me? What? Must eject water from eyes. <laughs> exactly. It's just like this. I can't process this. Also, hello, Regen. How are you doing? Uh, just let me deal with this deadly knife. You know, there's no way to walk around with a butcher's knife and not look like you're getting ready to stab someone. I've noticed that. Like, if you're walking into a room with a birthday cake and you've got a butcher's knife in your side hand as well, you're just like, happy birthday. And like, Ooh, what's going to happen here? They might try and cut the cake. They might try and cut me. This could go either way. All right, put that back. can put my wedding ring on again since I don't like getting it dirty. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break right now uh, just to, let me just check these. Okay, they're warming up well, so they should be ready by the time that I get done with my bathroom break. Um, so yeah, I will be right back. Uh, I'm going to run some ads as well. Sorry about that. But you know, it's a living. Uh, and yeah, if any of you has a question of the day that you want to post, uh, then feel free to. I should get these ready in advance, but I always forget with the YouTube stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you have a question of the day that you want to post to the chat, we can pin it so people can answer it. But yeah, I'll be back. Give me about four or five minutes or so, something like that. And I'll see you in a moment. All right, I am back with a snack because I am hungry and a bit of fiber would help out. Not to say that I have problems there right now. Just, you know, it's good to have fiber in your diet. All right. We're just going to wait a little bit longer just for those to uh, warm up a little bit. Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock would say you are dubious because you took out your ring. But you know what? Sherlock would be wrong there because I've got my reasons. Also, you know, they always say like, I noticed in detective stuff, they always say, Oh, he's got a tan line around his ring, which means that either he's recently divorced or he's trying to cheat on his wife. You don't get tan lines around your ring. Like, that's not a thing, unless you spend a bunch of time in tanning beds or something. But yeah, I don't know. Some people get it. I mean, I'm never out in the sun, so I won't get it. They'll never catch me, Sherlock. But yeah, I only take mine off just because uh, I have... See, my ring is made out of titanium, which isn't as fancy as it sounds. Uh, but when I got it, uh, I had more weight on me. So the size that it was then uh, is not the right size. So now, as you can see, it very easily comes off. So I have this, and you might have seen this in my video actually, but like I've got this little thing on it here. In fact, let me, yeah, you can see, it's got like this little ridge thing on it here. Uh, and that is just to basically make it a bit more tight. I need to apply more because it has actually got thinner as well. 
Uh, but yeah, and it, the reason behind that is because you can't really resize titanium rings just because they're titanium, they're really hard to do so. I think you can get them resized, but I think it costs an arm and a leg to, to do so. I might just get like a tungsten ring as a replacement for it or something. Because those can look pretty nice these days. Alright, Sumi put forth a question, what is slash R the smells that you like? Uh, well, for me, obvious one, baked bread. Uh, can't go wrong with the smell of fresh, freshly baked bread. Yep, there we go, Von Reich on the same page as me. Yeah, it's hard to compete with that and fresh cookies, baked cookies. That one's wonderful. Bakery smells, all generally good, yeah. The scent, tree scents are nice, like mahogany. Mahogany is wonderful, yeah. Mahogany and oak, really nice scents from those. Jasmine, also a lovely one. Cinnamon in autumn. Cinnamon with some nutmeg, that's the perfect mix for the autumnal flavors there and smells. I've been trying to muster the energy to make a tea and have a butter tart. A butter tart? I'm not sure what that is. I mean, it's butter and tart, so it sounds good. I like gas station smells. Gas stations do actually smell quite nice, yeah. I see the appeal of like the smell of petroleum. Don't know what it is, but yeah. I have to leave, sadly. I'll miss the final product. I'm sorry you got to leave, Pokraj, but thank you very much for being here, and thank you for being a member. Uh, you did want your name on a cookie, is that right? Because, uh, you know, if you want to revisit the VOD, you'll be able to see it that way. Like their rings just left a dent in their skin of my parents. It can leave dents, like if the ring is too small for you, I believe. Uh, in fact, let's see. Yeah, cause I don't really have a dent either, because it fits just as well on this finger. No. I'd love my name on a cookie. It will be done then. But yeah, thank you very much for stopping by, Pokraj. Greatly appreciate it. I worked in a jeweler and enlarging rings wasn't that expensive. It's only expensive if you really size up, otherwise they just stretch it. Yeah, I've looked around for titanium resizing, but I couldn't see anyone that actually offers it around where I live. Uh, they might expand to it in time, but yeah, just because it's such a tough material, a lot of people don't like working with it because they also find it difficult to like bond it back together when they shrink it. So yeah, it's a weird one. Kind of regret getting a titanium one in this case. There's a nice ring, you know, it looks nice and everything. Simple, but subtle. Grocery store fresh, that can be pretty nice too. Apart from Walmart. <laughs> Don't know what kind of flavors you're gonna, gonna get in a Walmart. My fiance has a silicone ring because she's a mechanic. Yeah, so I've considered the silicone ring too, uh, but I think I'm veering towards tungsten just because they have like a lot of really nice designs with that one. But obviously with a mechanic or anyone else that works with like difficult handwork, they can end up finding themselves in a position where like it just easily breaks or something because tungsten isn't that strong at all really. Okay, let me just mac on this a little bit. Chocolate granola bar. Enjoy the mukbang. Okay. So this should be good. In fact, I'm just going to put this in the fridge while I'm working on the other one. Just so it doesn't warm up too much. Got a ruler. Okay. 
So very simple with this one. I'm just gonna flower the surface, roll it out to about a quarter of an inch, which in metric, what's a quarter of an inch in metric? Metric is 2.6 centimeters to an inch. So, Six point three five millimeters. Okay, we'll do. You win this time, inches. We'll do that. Okay. Move this. Just give it a nice liberal sprinkle. Once again, you don't want to incorporate too much flour, just because otherwise it can dry out the cookies a little bit. Move up my laptop a bit too. Try not to knock stuff over. So I don't know if you can tell, but this whole area is a little bit cramped. Take another bite. Okay. Speaking of, I'm just going to move it around a bit just so it gets a good amount of flour under it. And a little bit on top, just to make the rolling easier. Uh, finish this off. Sorry, I'm hungry. Okay. Rolling pin. Quality content right there. <clears throat> Flower baying that stuff. And, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, it is a good method. You could also get a sieve and, you know, do it that way, but just hear me. Yeah, it's <laughs> just make that a YouTube short, me just holding people up while I consume. I mean, hey, there's worse stuff on the internet. So yeah, we're gonna put some flour on this rolling pin. And as we've been over this before, what I have to do with my hands here, we're all gonna be very mature about it because this is a perfectly normal thing to do while you're baking. So one moment. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna roll this out to a quarter of an inch thickness. Hopefully it hasn't warmed up too much. This is a French pastry rolling pin. So difference between this and a regular rolling pin is that you have to try and apply even pressure with both hands across the entire thing. It works out as it's one of those things where it's like, if you don't get it right, it can be more imprecise than a regular rolling pin, you know, with the handles on it. Uh, but if you get it, if you are good at it and you get it right, it turns out more accurate than a typical rolling pin. So I'm just gonna try and get this into the best circle shape as possible, which I'm usually pretty bad at. 
Oh yeah, so one thing as a heads up. Uh, so I have a good amount of icing for the names, uh, but I may run out. But I have an alternative. So if we do run out, I will switch to using chocolate piping on it instead. I just need to melt down some chocolate and then do it that way. So if all else fails, we shall do that. Okay, quarter of an inch. How far are we there? That is a quarter. That is a quarter. That looks pretty even. Not bad. So proud of us from being mature. I'm very proud of you too. You've really all grown today. You're ready for a mortgage to go to work and start hanging out with people outside of the water cooler, asking them if they watched the game last night. Doesn't matter which game, just any game. And then slowly crawling towards a slow and uneventful death. I got bleak. All right. So now we start the cutting process. So this is what the recipe asks for, two and a half inch circle, which as you can see, I'm sure you got some idea of the scale, but it's not very big. Uh, so with this, it said it's supposed to be able to get 36 cookies out of it. But because we are writing on these, I think it might be better to go to the three and a half inch one, uh, which means obviously less cookies. But I think given the amount of people that want their names on it, we should be able to accommodate. And yeah, we've also got the other batch as well, which should be fine to make. The cookies might not be as well shaped as the other ones, but should be okay. So we're gonna start cutting with the overhead. And when it comes to cutting cookies, you always wanna start closer to the edge than you do the middle, just so you can maximize the amount of space. Oh yeah, I need my baking trays as well. That one ain't a perfect circle, but it'll do. All right, let me move, that doesn't feel safe. Let me move my stand mixer real quick, just so I have more real estate on the table. I think I'm done with it, so should be all right. God, that will never not be heavy. Okay, can we see this in the shot? Yes, we can. Oh, sorry, here's the food coloring for the icing later on. 2.5 inches is 6.35 centimeters. And the quarter inch was 6.35. Strange symmetries. Yeah, yeah, that is odd. Happy centimeter noises. Yes. That's a weird thing, like, with the recipes that I follow. Uh, like I said, a lot of the recipes that I do are by John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen. Uh, he's great. A lot of his recipes are fantastic. Um, and he puts his measurements down in metric and even says always use metric when you can with baking but whenever it comes to actual length measurements he always uses inches not a big problem but you know as a metric aficionado bothers me a little bit it's like if you're used to if you visit the ikea us site and look at like the furniture measurements on there, which to be clear, they don't offer uh, the metric measurements on that site at all, as far as I can see. Uh, if you are someone who grew up with metric and you look at that site, it is a fucking nightmare because it's like you get a desk that the measurement is something like three feet and three eighths of two, no, three feet, 
two inches and three eighths of an inch. I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, how am I supposed to possibly visualize what three eighths of an inch is? But yeah, not great. I even tried installing a uh, extension on Chrome, which actually automatically converts stuff from Imperial to metric. And in general, it works well, but for some reason, it does not work with Ikea's site. And sometimes it has weird conversions, like it'll have something like, uh, like if you put like a cup of flour on there, instead of saying a cup of flour, it'll put the measurements for a cup of water just because it automatically defaults to it being a water measurement. But you know, cup of flour is in grams, cup of water, milliliters. It's the small grievances in life, you know? I measure by sources. Kitten on Twitter is two sources long. How would one measure in sources, or hogsheads for that matter, Tando? American baking recipes stress me out. Roll the dough to five eighths of an inch. Brother, I did maths at school and I sucked at it. Please get away with those. Yeah, five eighths of an inch. Like, I find it difficult enough just to measure a quarter of an inch. And that's just basically measure up to the first marker on the ruler. Makes me wonder if there's like a powerful imperial measurement lobby that's running the government or something. In fact, I can probably guess why imperial is still the standard in America. Uh, given how uh, American politicians like to pander to uh, the elderly in this country, because, you know, elderly voters are the largest or most active voting bloc. Uh, millennials are the largest voting bloc, but they're either not properly politically engaged or uh, they can't get out of work to actually vote. Uh, but yeah, the elderly vote is extremely valuable to, vo to politicians. So I wonder if like the refusal to move away from Imperial, because there's been numerous attempts to move away from Imperial over the decades, but it makes me think, like, are they holding on to it just because they don't want to piss off boomers and silent generation people who are just like, I don't understand this. Because from experience, you know, as someone who used to work at Ikea and I sold furniture there, uh, you would get a lot of people, a lot of older people that were coming to the store and they would complain about the fact that all of our measurements were in metric. And they asked us if we had conversions. I said, no, unfortunately not. And they would get really pissy about it because they said that they just couldn't understand it. So that's my theory. Probably bordering on conspiracy theory a bit. I don't know. But as conspiracy theories go, it's not that uh, damaging of one. And it doesn't have any anti-Semitism in it, which can't be said of a lot of conspiracy theories. Okay. It's got a ball this up again, squeeze it into a decent mass, make sure there's no folds. Once again, you got to be careful with the amount of flour you use, otherwise it can make it difficult to reform. I don't even use recipes anymore. Every, every time I Google them, I get someone's life story instead. You know, it's not as bad as it used to be. By like every baking blog that you'd visit, It'll just be like some aggressively white woman called, I don't know, Sarah or Taylor or something like that. And they'd give like the fucking life story of some brownies. Um, and it was just like, just get on with the fucking recipe. Um, and yeah, even though they do have that these days still, many of them have the decency to have a button there saying, jump to the recipe, which I will click that shit every day of the week. And I do. Because yeah, getting, sifting through it all just to get to the recipe is like, you know, screw you. I know you want me to just see more ads, which I get it, you know, I got to throw ads in front of people even though I really don't want to, but who's really reading the life story stuff? Here we go again. 
Uh, I can fit three more onto this one. Me aggressively wearing. <laughs> I can't think of any other way to put it. Maybe that's what white supremacists should rebrand themselves as. Aggressive whites. They need to embrace the Swedish experience, but the Hugi experience, a life of comfort. I don't know how to measure hogsheads, I just know it's a measurement because the composition notebooks would have them in the back. That is... How old were these notebooks? It would be nice if not inches and such converted, but it would be nice to have cups and other measurements converted to weights. Yeah, it would, because like a cup of flour, I think a cup of flour is 240 grams roughly. But yeah, with cups, it's a difficult one because, you know, depending on the substance that you're putting in there, it can wildly change depending on how well you measured it. You know, if you pack a cup with flour, like if you really pack it in there, it could end up being way more than 240 grams. And if you end up like stacking it on top, you know, if you have like a bunch of extra flour just like domed over the top of it, that's way more as well. So there's like no accuracy to it. Let's see. It's a little thinner than quarter of an inch, but that should be okay. Also to make this easier for yourself when cutting stuff out, uh, dip the cutter inside some flour and that just makes it much easier to uh, pull it away. So just put it down, give it a bit of a twist, and there you go. You can wipe off any excess flour if you want to. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I broke out laughing because I know a Sarah and a tail. <laughs> If you're a sailor, if you're a sailor, if you're a Sarah or a tailor, your destiny is to be aggressively white. There's no way around it, unfortunately. I don't make the rules. Solari out here calling me out for being old. You're not old. You're, you're young at heart. You're only as old as you feel, or whatever your birth certificate says. Uh, I'm trying to get one more out of this. Let's see if I can pat it down. That should do. Although I'm out of space on this, so I've got to put it on the other one. So I'm going to bake these one at a time just because I don't like splitting uh, baking duties between two sheets. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes-ish to do, so we can just have a bit of time where we just relax. And after these are out of the oven, just gotta let them cool a bit. Actually, you know what, I am gonna do two at a time. It shouldn't be bad with sugar cookies. Plus, I don't want them to warm up too much. So we will start on the other one in a moment. I just remembered the measure of sauces Sumi mentioned refer to a photo of a small kitchen and two like McDonald's type nugget sauce containers next to it. <laughs> it's kind of like weird American measurements that you'll see every now and then. You'll see like a story where it's been like a, a big pothole opens in the middle of a city or something and I'll say like a pothole the size of 16 dishwashers um, appears in the middle of Blatantsville or something like that. I don't know if that's a town name, but it's like, we can't just use a measurement for that. We have to have something to scale that people can conceptualize. What does 16 dishwashers look like when they're stacked on each other? Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay, I get it now. Because there's no way I would have figured out what that size would have been. Hey, hey, Steve, how are you doing? Glad that you can join us. Hmm? Dio! Yes, Dio, Dio. You need more parity with your names. You signed up 
on the Patreon as well, where you also had a different name. Only reason I knew it was you, because I recognize your picture. But good to see you, dear. How are you doing? You know, since uh, Dio signed up as a patron, let's add him to the list as well. And I've been a long time viewer. I know you've wanted to support for a good while now, so let's uh, honor the occasion. Uh, what name would you like written on your cookie, Dio? If you do want a name on your cookie, like I say, you don't have to, it's up to you. Dio is special, yes. He's been around for a long He's been in the Discord pretty much since day one, I believe. He's a veteran. A boulder the size of a small boulder. A boulder the size of Boulder, Colorado. Figure that one out. All right, we can get one more out of this and then we'll switch to the next one. Just flatten it out evenly. That should be about a quarter of an inch. There we go. Dunzo. And of course, given that this is batter, I must ask my wife, would you like some batter, dear? No? No? All right. More for me. Mm. Good batter. I changed my name on Patreon to Dio. Good to know. So it was like Shaw before, wasn't it? Or something like that? Was that like a Hobbs and Shaw reference? Because everyone on the server knows me as Dio. That's true, yeah. I will forever know you as Dio. Nothing changing there. Of course, if you know you were to change your identity, then I would. Gladly oblige that. Probably shouldn't need too much of that. Okay. The next disc. Sprinkle a bit more. <clears throat> been there since a long time. Needs to check the joining date. You, you might have been a day one joiner. I'm not sure. Either way, like you are one of, if not the longest active member on our server. I think it might be like between you and Sander Panda maybe, and Sam. Ugh. Okay. Rub it around a little bit. Needs a bit more underneath, I reckon. I really need to rub my eyes, but my fingers are dirty. I think I have a clean knuckle. Do I have powder on my face now? Oh, well. Okay, bit on top. And these should be in the oven in a moment. I might have too many for these trays. What I might do, I might make a couple of larger ones uh, just for insurance, I guess. Once again, let's have a special moment with the rolling pin. Oh, my parents are watching. Who cares if you have some white powder on your nose? I mean, hey, this ain't the 1980s anymore and I ain't a finance guy. Can't go out and get a powder lunch. <clears throat> that's your real life name? Oh, I did not know that. I mean, I knew it wasn't Dio. That's like a Jojo reference. Yeah, wouldn't have thought. 
the server behind the stream because of the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunately YouTube doesn't help with that because they do have a little bit more of a delay in their broadcasting compared to Twitch. Uh, but I think they're working on it from what I heard. I think the delay is just like five seconds though, which, you know, isn't terrible. All right, quarter inch thickness. A little bit more powder, just because I don't want to tear it. How are you doing, Camo? He's tired. He's tired. Not really eaten all day. And so just to reiterate, this is all in the name of our sick cat, Camu. It's going through a rough time. So yes, if you want to become a member, it's three dollars to sign up and you can get your name on a cookie. As it says in the uh, corner right there. Or if you want to leave a super chat of any amount, if you donate over three dollars, you will get your name on a cookie too, upon request. Uh, or if you donate any less, anything goes a long way in helping. He has been very costly recently. We love him, but he's been costly. Ah, speaking of cats, there's another hair. Okay, quarter inch. This might be a bit too thin. That side is too thin. That side... A little bit thick. So we can try and redistribute the weight up here. Uh, yeah. Let me cut open a cat treat. Try to feed Camo. See, these are the things, little tube treats for cats. Uh, this one is chicken recipe. And it's just this yeah. gross uh, paste inside of it. I wouldn't want to try it, even as a dare. Cut this over the bin. Okay. There you go. Bon appetit, Camo. Zoe, thank you very much for your $20 donation. Can I just have a little bee on it? Do you want a little bee as in the insect or the wrapper little bee? Because I can do both. But thank you very much, Zoe. I greatly appreciate that. How are you doing today as well, Zoe? I didn't ask. How are you doing? How goes the content mill? It's 1 p.m. here, but 4 p.m. is look at smut hour. I mean, hey, you gotta make use of your employer's time anyway, right? May as well use it wisely. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll get a couple of uh, larger ones just in case. Are these larger ones? No, this is the right size one, never mind. He's not eating it? Oh. oh boy. I'm sure he'll be hungry enough soon that he'll eat. You know, he still does have all that fluids in him. And Camus not keen on eating right now. The grind is grinding, and it will grind away into our souls and our self-esteem. You missed the context. What did I miss? Churu, just a small letter B. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Anyone see the eclipse yesterday? Yes, I got a pretty good view of it. Um, 
I was at my apartment complex, stood outside with those uh, special glasses for it, and quite surprisingly, I was like the only person outside looking at it. Uh, there was a couple of people in their balcony that were looking, uh, but yeah, that was it. People just ignoring the wonder of the universe outside, and I was like, what's wrong with you? Like, you'd rather just stay indoors and watch The Bachelor or some shit? Come on. Or, I mean, what what's on about 2 o'clock? Like, Dr. Phil or something? I don't know. Either way, not an eclipse. Let me flatten that down a bit. Okay. Poor Camus, I want to hug him. Yeah, he's having a difficult time. Like I said, he is still full of IV fluid from the vets right now. Uh, so it's probably uncomfortable in that respect. And you know, when you feel bloated and everything, uh, eating is generally the last thing on people's minds. I mean, when I used to have gallstones, I would get horribly bloated. And just the thought of eating would probably make me want to run to the bathroom. Same thing with people that get like IBS and everything. Look at you, I didn't see it because of shitty weather. Yeah, that's uh, you know, I think the last eclipse was here was I think 2017, 18, something like that. And that was like a day in which like, and that was, a, that was the total eclipse, I believe. And we were super excited for it. Got outside with the glasses and everything. Couldn't see shit. Like it was just cloudy like hell and yeah, just nothing. So you can technically see it through the clouds, but it isn't as pronounced because obviously there's quite a bit of obscuring there. But yeah, what a disappointment. Okay. <laughs> Ball this up again. Yeah, sorry to those of you that didn't manage to see it. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it won't be too long until the next one. Me, gorgeous, confident, thriving. No onions, please, and thank you. I'm not a big fan of onions either. It's... If it's like a small amount, or if it's like a shallot, or something like that, where it's well cooked into something, and it's not too crispy. I can cope with that. But I do not know how people cope with eating raw onions. Like, that texture is so harsh. Last one across the States will be 2045. God damn. Well, we'll probably all be dead by then anyway. Onions make you fart backwards. Are you referring to a burp? I'm still laughing because the guy who stopped in front of my house during the eclipse and asked, what's everyone staring at? Yeah, uh, Star told me about that yesterday. Everyone's just looking at the sky with their goofy glasses on and everything. Truck guy just pulls up and like, hey, what y'all looking at? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck do you think? Like, of all the things that could be in the sky where you're all wearing these weird cardboard plastic glasses, what could be happening? And yeah, I get the feeling that's just a guy that found out what an eclipse was that day. So good for him, I guess. Alright, so... This will be our first batch. And how many can I get out of this? That is the wrong size. You know, I'll save that aside. You. Okay. Moon has been taken on both of these baking trays. I have a backup. 
because I want to get all these done at the same time. So, what I will do is I will use the Ninja convection oven so I can do all the work at once. So just bear with me while I line this with parchment paper. And we can see which one turns out best too. Okay. It's never as neat as you'd want. Bear with me. Just trying to cut it down to size for this tray. Is he all right? Yeah, I just told her that again. From what they say? Okay. Right, so my wife just had to call the vet again because uh, other than him throwing up, what's wrong with him? He won't eat. Mm hmm. Yeah, because Camus isn't eating right now. But it could be because he's filled with fluids. But my wife's calling up the vet to see what the deal could be. So we shall see. Might end up being another vit visit to the vet. Joy. Okay, so I'll put more on this one. That's not a hair, right? No, okay, good. Just prop these on top of that. Total solar eclipses don't even happen, does happen every one to three years, just it has a whole globe to be on. Yeah, that's true. I guess could always travel to see an eclipse. The way I didn't know Zoe was that she was famous until I checked the name. Famous is a very relative term. But yes, Zoe B is very, very famous. She is the sworn enemy of Prager U and Dennis Prager in the war of misinformation. Okay, I can get two more out of this, I reckon. That is horribly uneven, so I'm going to try it again. I mean, I won't lie, I'm always, whenever Zoe, whenever Zoe does join, I, you know, I do say, look, it's famous YouTuber Zoe B. I just think it's funny because it's something I can't say for myself. Okay, no, don't grab onto it. Sugar cookies are super quick and easy to make. Okay. Yes, the starfish face has a decent share of subs too, and a pretty damn successful comic that she makes called Cast Off. Sea Star, I remembered it. Although every single time when I've given it a different name, that is me messing with you. But I think you know that.
Cast Off, the comic book where a stranded man falls in love with a volleyball. I'm getting that right, right? I remember. Ah. Okay, so this should be enough. That isn't enough batter for one. Isn't, 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 isn't. I will will you into a shape. All right, we'll get a very small cookie under this one, a two and a half inch cookie. That'll do. Oh God, he ruined it. It's what I do. Because Solari says that the famous YouTuber, so we keep the meme, keep the meme alive. Oh shit! Okay. Um, yeah. So we're just going to put it in the oven now. Then after that's done, we'll let it cool a bit, and then we will start the decoration process. Am I going to eat this batter whole? It's not a lot, but it's a bit more than one should eat, I think. I'll offer it, offer it to my wife. Would you like a bit of this batter? Why don't you want my batter today? Mm -hmm. Last chance. Okay. That's too much. I immediately regret that. Salmonella, here we go. Okay. So, first batch into the oven, good and hot, second batch on the bottom shelf, and the third batch we will put in the Ninja. Let's see. Hands are wet. Bake for 10 minutes at 370. You know, we'll do nine minutes on this one just because it's a bit more powerful than a regular oven. So, here we go. Uh, I need to set a timer um, and I'm gonna annoy you all now who have Google Assistant. So, hey Google, set a timer for nine minutes. Sorry, Android owners. Regen, thank you very much for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. Take care of the rest of your day. Rose, hello, how are you doing? First time seeing you stop by here, I believe. My phone didn't trigger this time. Yeah, the notifications for the YouTube app are terrible. Uh, they can be like, I think, my wife got a notification, wasn't it like hours later or something like that? Yeah, it was like 11 o'clock at night for a stream that started at 2 p.m. So yeah, not reliable at all. Uh, that's why if you do want to get up to date notifications as to when I go live, uh, Discord is always the best bet. And you get notifications about when I post a new video too, which is nice. Since YouTube, tends to have a bit of an issue with that these days. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then I'll probably go on another little break just to check up on camera and everything. Right now we're waiting for a call from the vet just to uh, discuss his symptoms and see where we can go next. Or well, rightly, I'm not quite sure. So hooray, it looks like I might get a fifth vet visit. I'm sure it'll love that. And when I get back, I'm gonna start making the icing for it too. But it's a very simple recipe. How many cookies do I have to decorate? I need a tally.
Oh well, we'll figure it out. There for now. I get the stream notification via the Discord. Yeah, that's the best way to get it, honestly, because, you know, with Discord notifications, it's always as and when it happens, so yeah. I have a Samsung phone, but for some reason it doesn't do the Hey Google thing. I thought my phone, <laughs> I thought my assistant was about to do it then. Uh, I think you have to you have to like set it up. You have to train it to work with your voice through the uh, home app, uh, which my wife and I both had to do. So we, because we both have Android phones, and obviously if we say something like the command, uh, we don't want it triggering each other's phone off and everything. So yeah, I posted horrors slash the lights in the Discord. Oh my god. I'll have to look at those on the back of my PC. That's why I missed the last stream, got the new YouTube notification six hours later. Yeah, it's abysmal, it really is bad. And there's YouTube saying that we endeavor our hardest to ensure that all of our creators are elevated and put forward to make sure that, you know, they have an equal shot at success as our biggest names on their bollocks bollocks <laughs> no other word for it i mean they can say that though because you know what are you going to do complain all right i'm gonna go have a swift break um check up on camu and then once we're back we just have to wait for the cookies to cool down until i can start riding on them and i gotta make the icing as well which is really quick to do then uh but yeah uh, see you in a moment. I'll be about four or five minutes or so. Uh, I need a bit of a longer one this time. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm also going to run some ads as well. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, the cookies in a main oven are almost done and these ones are still going, but I'm going to give it another minute or so and I just hear that Camu is heaving in the background. Wonderful. <sighs> sorry. Well, I'm not sorry about him doing this, but you know, timing's awful. Poor guy. Yeah, it's hard to maintain a level of enthusiasm while stuff like that's happening in the background, I won't lie to you. Let me just go check on him again real quick. I know my wife's with him right now, so she's looking after him well. But she's calling the vet just to make sure whether this is like okay since he just had a bunch of fluid pumped into him through IV. Uh, so yeah, and he hasn't eaten, so his stomach might be upset. He could have a stomach bug as well, along with, you know, his liver stuff and everything. So level of irritation can vary a bit. Okay. I really need to clean my oven because a shitload of smoke just came out. Uh, the cookies need probably about two minutes. Whoops all going wrong uh, okay those are done uh yeah be right back
Okay. Yeah, he brought out a little bit, trying to sanitize the language, what I use for it. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he might have a stomach bug, is one thing that the vet said as well. Um, but you know, he's got other things going on, so he's not particularly healthy as a whole. But if it is a stomach bug, at least it's something that can pass over time. But yeah, we'll see. He's a bit of a mess. Okay, he's a good. Just gotta let him cool down. Put these over here. And the other ones. Check. Tiny bit more time. When you're baking on two racks, it does take a bit longer to do than a single rack. Generally, when it comes to cookies, I only like to do one rack at a time just because it helps with the heat distribution. But since we're a bit pressed on time, I figure do it the whole hog. Don't worry, we all understand plus cookies need to cool before frosting. Yeah, they do. They'll need about like 15, 20 ish minutes, I think. So, well, thank you very much for being understanding as well. I appreciate that. Like I said, it's, I know it's not the uh, most normal of circumstances to be doing a stream on, but it is what it is. I didn't, we didn't expect him to be uh, still throwing up, especially when he's got an empty stomach. So my wife is actually on the phone to the vet right now. So we'll see what they say about it. Might be another visit, might be just some advice. I'm hoping that it's just advice on the situation or confirmation whether he does have a stomach bug. Because, uh, yeah, it's a weird one. Jelena, hi, hi. Just watching some John Oliver right now. John, I, yeah, I watched that yesterday. That was the one about a uh, prison reform. Uh, that was good, yeah. It's a grim situation in the US with all the places where they have to get like the cloak and dagger nature of finding execution drugs and everything and lethal injection is a horrifyingly awful way to go i sadly gotta go now i need some rest before going to bed i'll see the cookies later in the discord i suppose take care sending love to your furry son well thank you very much to me and thank you very much once again for contributing to the members on here very grateful for it you're a wonderful person and I will see you next time, of course. But thank you. I really appreciate that. And sleep well, of course. Okay, let me check once more. Okay, that should be good. Really need to clean that up. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but that's the reason why you're seeing the smoke. Oof. Okay, so they will sit in the baking trays for a couple minutes and then we will transfer them to wire racks so they can properly cool. And I think we've got 22, 23 names to write on these cookies, names slash illustrations. Uh, so that should be doable. So let me double check the list that my wife wrote. Okay. All right, so what I'll say now is, because there's actually not that many people that ask to have their uh, stuff written on it. So I will say now that if you are a member or if you made a super chat, uh, let it be known now what you would like putting on a cookie, if you would like one. Uh, and I will take note of it as well, uh, just cause since that's the next step of this one, it'd be good to get a heads up on it. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to be making the icing for this next. And uh, I'm thinking red as a color, uh, but if anyone else has any suggestions, I have a spectrum of colors here. I've got pink, red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, purple, white, and black. Um, obviously, we want something that's pretty readable on camera, so I was thinking red, just because that's pretty bold, and red's my favorite color. Although you wouldn't know by looking at me. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? God, my head's a mess right now. Yep, piping. Let me just double check this recipe. Okay, a cup of powdered milk, tablespoon of milk, light corn syrup, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract or almond extract. We will be using almond extract for this one because almond extract is clear in color and yeah, you want to make sure that there's no tint in there or anything. If you've got to take a break, we got you. I'll, I'll think about it, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you naturally say white like that? I don't naturally say white. Embellishing a little bit. I just find it funny. Okay, so yeah, I have my piping cup ready. Uh, one sec. Did you have a call? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll be right back. Just gonna talk to my wife about what they said on the phone call. One sec. Sorry about this. All right, I am back. Uh, what was that? I just, I really need to get a way of getting my notifications over here. Who was that? Anonymous. 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 Assuming that's your real name. Thank you very much for tipping. Um, given the nature of your name, would you like your uh, name putting on a cookie? Would you like Anon? put on there or something but thank you thank you very much uh, so yeah my wife just spoke to the vet uh, said that it is a little puzzling as to why he uh, is vomiting still and when he's vomiting is like a very small amount and it's liquids um, just because he hasn't eaten today he hasn't got an appetite it could be discomfort from being filled with IV fluids, but we've yet to see. She doesn't think that? Okay, never mind then. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a wait and see situation because if it turns out that he continues to have issues, he might need an ultrasound at that point. Um, and yeah, don't know what they'll find there. They said there was some kind of mass in his stomach on the x-rays well, calcification in the x-rays, which could possibly be gallstones, but obviously that's what they'd have to check for. Uh, but it's unusual because it wasn't too long ago that he got an x-ray and they didn't see that mass on there. It was? Okay, well it was on there then. It was just missed, okay. So, who knows? But we're going to give him a night, and they said that if he does end up like uncontrollably vomiting, or if he vomits blood, then we have to take him to an emergency then. So, we'll see. Not stressful at all. What was that? Ron! Thank you very much. Very kind of you. I want a cookie with a painted mustache on it so the hair can be edible. Okay, Syndrome Noir wants an edible mustache on his cookie. Or their cookie, sorry. And is that other music coming from the stream or is it someone being very loud outside? I think it should be from the stream. Mm. 
Yeah, that won't lie. That cat needs to get his shit together. I've never had a cat in my life that has had like so many problems with it. And he's not that old as well. He's like, what, six, seven? Something like that? He's seven. seven years old, yeah. So not that old. All right, just transfer our knees to the wire rack just so they can cool down a little bit. Ultrasound for a cat will be so expensive. Yes, it will. Oh, Dio is not anonymous. Okie doke. That's still pretty young for a kitty. Hope y'all can get him feeling better soon. I mean, hopefully you won't need the ultrasound. Uh, you know, hopefully this is just a bit of hangover from going to the vets today, but we'll see. Okay, that is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, so 30 cookies we got here. Once again, if you need to end early, do not think you have to keep streaming for us. Your health is important as well. We'll see how I go, you know. I won't lie, you know, this is a kind of experience. It does uh, take the wind out of the sails a little bit. And as I said, and a bunch of other stuff going on as well with family health stuff. And this kind of thing is ultimately a form of emotional labor, you know, trying to keep up a layer of enthusiasm and trying to basically just keep your shit together at the same time. But I will be mindful of how I'm feeling. I'll be mindful of whether I feel like I'm hitting a wall. And I do appreciate you saying that most definitely uh, because, you know, if I do end up having to do these off stream, I still will definitely do them and I will post them on Discord for prosperity or prosperity. I can never remember what, um, but yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, but we got to make the piping right now. So I've already forgotten the recipe for it. So it's a cup of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of milk, two teaspoons of light corn syrup and a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. So one tablespoon of milk, two corn syrup. Let's get the milk. All right, so this one is super simple. Move these up a bit. In fact, I'm gonna move one to the other side. Do not fall. Back is itching. All right, one tablespoon of milk. So yeah, this is one cup of powdered sugar. Unfortunately, I don't know how much that weighs in milli in grams, uh, but I do know that powdered sugar is heavier than flour. I've reached the phase of turning on the kettle. Congratulations. <clears throat> what will be made from the kettle? Uh, God, my memory is like a sieve. Two teaspoons of corn syrup, quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Okay. So, I don't have light corn syrup, but I have an alternative, which is something that is more popular in the UK. Because uh, we don't really have corn syrup there because high fructose corn syrup is banned in the UK and pretty much everywhere else in Europe. Uh, so I have this thing called golden syrup, which is an inverted sugar, uh, which basically just means that a sugar has been broken down. I think it's like the uh, fructose and glucose are broken down by introducing 
something like a citric acid and then being boiled down with water as well. Uh, yeah, golden syrup is wonderful. It tastes great on its own. Corn syrup, not so much, but it works in the same way as uh, corn syrup does. The only downside is that, as you can see, it's quite dark, so it might mess with the coloring a bit, but since we're using food coloring, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So we need two teaspoons of this. I hope your baby cat gets better. I'm sure he will. You know, we just gotta keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't fall apart. Okay, one teaspoon. Do the overhead, I think. Need to set up that overhead cam better. Yeah. Did you see Dune 2? What did you think? I still haven't watched... <coughs> excuse me. I've still not watched Dune 1. I've been meaning to, but... It ended up becoming one of those movies where it's like, you know... I wasn't necessarily excited to see it, but I was interested in seeing it. But it ended up being one of those movies where it just ends up like staying on the back burner to the point where you end up forgetting about it. I've heard good stuff. And, you know, the director, Denis Villeneuve, is actually one of my favorite working directors right now. Uh, so, you know, I'm kind of surprised at myself for not going for it. <clears throat> His Blade Runner 2049 was fantastic. Uh, the movie Prisoners was remarkable. Uh, as was Arrival. If you've not seen Arrival and you like Dune, go watch Arrival. It's really damn good. But, you know, what did people think of Dune 2? I've seen reviews, but, you know, I'd be open to hearing what other people say about it. Uh, then it was... Quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Very powerful. Yeah, like I said, almond extract is just going in there for the flavor and it uh, makes it so that the icing will be less colorful or less dark. <clears throat> okay, so we are just going to mix this. I need to wash this because it still has flour on it. Blade Runner 2049 is literally me. <laughs> this is a damn good movie. It was way better than I was expecting. You know, you expect movies that are made as like a follow-up after, you know, pretty much three decades. You expect them to be bad, but pff, prove me wrong, that's for sure. Really liked it, but the book readers didn't like it that much. I gotta say I'm surprised just because I don't think many fans of Dune uh, could be pleased by it. I think they're just like, I don't know. I think they're just like too picky about things, you know? And some fans of like very well-known books are like that. And, you know, just let them live their lives, I guess, if they want to be like that. Okay, so we're just, mis just whisking, the, whisking this together until it becomes an icing texture. Very simple stuff. I have another question, what do you use to edit your videos? I use Adobe Premiere. Um, I have used different editing softwares in the past. Um, like when I went to university, I studied TV production and I learned on Avid there. And Avid is a brilliant piece of software, but remarkably difficult to use. You know, if, uh, if Adobe Premiere is editing with like a scalpel, then editing with Avid is like <clears throat> editing with like 
I don't know, molecular cutters or something like that. The kind of thing you use to like reshape DNA and molecules, if such a thing exists. I may have to make this a bit thinner because it is very thick. Uh, one second. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more milk into it. Uh, <clears throat> let's do half a teaspoon of milk. I have a backup plan. If this icing doesn't work out, what I would do is melt some chocolate and just pipe with that instead. So, wouldn't be able to pick the color, but it would be just as effective. I will watch Dune once all the parts are out. That might be tempting to do, yeah. Um, although I'm not sure I'd want to watch it all in one sitting or anything like that. I've personally never understood the appeal of like watching an entire series of movies in one sitting. Uh, I know some people love it, like they'll have those special events where they uh, show all of the Star Wars movies in the theater at the same time or, you know, a whole run of Marvel movies, which, you know, if you know anything about me and my opinion on Marvel movies, that sounds like hell. Um, but yeah, it's all Lord of the Rings as well, like, that's a big one, like, um, full disclosure, I am not a big fan of the Lord of the Rings movies. I thought that the first one was good, but after that it kind of just became constant fights all the time, like battle sequences with CGI that has not held up. Um, but not only that, just like considering the length of all of these things, it's just too much. Like, I jokingly say that the Lord of the Rings trilogy is just like 12 hours of walking. Oh boy, is this a bit too thick? Hard to tell. I just realized I've been stuck on the overhead cam this whole time, but I guess it's okay. It's really thick. But that might be a decent consistency. Let's see. It should drip like that. Okay, that actually works. It's correct. can't do it in one sitting but I like to have control on watching stuff in my own time yeah that's why like I'm not overly keen on going to the cinema these days just because you know I like to pause things if I got other stuff to do I need to like answer a phone call or reply to a text to go to the bathroom all right I folded a bit more powder into it then but uh let's see go on drip drip there we go that counts Hello from Sweden. Stina Olanda, thank you very much for joining. Hello. I remember what hello in Swedish was, but I forget if that makes any sense. But hello, how are you doing? I had a Satoshi Kon marathon once. We broke up the movies with episodes of Paranoia Agent and that worked out. Yeah, I mean, stuff like in between probably helps quite a bit. Um, but yeah, just going one after the other, I just feel like if it didn't like you know, one per day, I think that might be all right. But if you're going all in, like, yeah, we just finished Fellowship of the Rings, let's do the Two Towers, let's go. I don't know, it sounds exhausting to me. Check the meme I just posted on Discord. I would, but this icing is time sensitive. Um, Cause it can dry out fairly quickly. So I got to color it and then put it in the bag so we can start the piping. Mmm. That tastes good. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll go for... I won't do purple, because as much as I do like purple, it is very finicky when it comes to food coloring because purple much of the time 
ends up being closer to gray than it does purple. And the more you put in to correct it, the worse it ends up looking. Uh, so I'm doing it purely just because I don't trust this purple in particular. Um, so I'll do red instead. Like I said, it's nice. It'll pop, uh, so it'll look nice on it. Okay, let's we'll try one drip first. You know, we'll go two. One is never usually enough. Okay, mix it all together. Do the overhead. Yeah, if you're not familiar with food dyes or food colorings, you really do not need that much because that dye is strong. Kind of looks more like a salmon pink right now. Probably have to add some more to it though. So yeah, it's looking a little bit too pink right now, as you can probably tell on camera. It's a bit thick, but you don't want it running. Yeah, exactly. If you want it run, if you have it runny, it'll just start spreading out too much as soon as you put it onto a surface. So it's a little finicky to work with, but yeah, it's the right texture, or at least I hope it is. Okay, we'll put another drop in. Come on, let go. Trying to make sure there's no white streaks left to Let me put this milk back. It's in the way. Alright, let me sit down while I'm doing this. My back's starting to wake. I generally can't stand up for too long. All right, everyone, I need to close the office and go back home. I'm going to the gym after that, so we'll be able to come back. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for being here, Dio, and thank you very much for your support as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the gym. Hope all goes well. Okay. I mean, we don't have to go pure red just because that's very difficult to achieve uh, with this kind of mixture. So I don't know. I think this is dark enough that it'll look nice still. Shall we go with that? Yeah, that's good and drippy. Okay, let's get it inside the piping bag. Yeah, I think it's dark enough too. I think it's good. It's good. No, wait, let me put the lid back on the die. And let's load this up. Try not to spill. It does have a really nice almond scent to it, even though it's just a very small amount of almond extract. Almond's one of those weird things, like I'm not a huge fan of just eating almonds straight or even salted or anything like that, but almond flavored bakes, like whether it's macarons or a Bakewell tart or something like that, I love it when it's like that. Macarons especially, oh my god. I like, I'd like to make macarons on stream one day, but... Once again, it's one of those things that requires meringue and a lot of people probably wouldn't be happy about sitting there listening to a stand mixer blazing away. Uh, oops. I'm just gonna get another spatula to scrape off the excess on this other spatula. Got to be efficient. Plop. Uh, 
There we go. Good. It's not a deep dark red, but let's close on camera. Yeah, it's kind of like a lighter, slightly lighter coral, I guess. The stand mix actually isn't all that bad. That's good to know. Yeah, I need to watch one of my VODs and see what it actually sounds like because you know, I know there's some people, it sounds like hell to other people. They don't say it matters that much, so I need to, I guess, pass my own judgment. Okay, let me... I'm gonna be a boomer here and print out this list of names and everything. So, once again. All right, once again, uh, if you do want your name on a cookie and you're a member, or if you're a donor, let me know so I can add it to the list. Because I'm printing out this list right now of people that have spoken and said that they want their name on it. So one moment. So yeah, quite a few people that were gifted memberships. Uh, I don't believe they've said whether they want a thing on theirs. So, yeah. Speak now or forever hold your peace. So, Sumi, even though she has sadly left us now, uh, she can get first dibs. One second. I'm just going to seal the top of this bag. Piping bags are all awful. All right, so before I start piping, I just like to work it down just so it gets all down there and get the air out of it too. Okay. Twist it up a bit just to get the pressure built. Okay, there we go. Doing a little test thing first. Okay, good, perfect consistency. All right, so first one, we shall do Sumi, who's not here right now. That is silicon piping bag. It is indeed, yeah. It came with a piping tip kit. Mm, that's good. Okay, overhead cam. I'll try and get this in a good angle. Yeah, the view might not be perfect, but I will show each one as I finish them. Although, to be honest, generally I just use the disposable bags just because, I don't know, they feel nicer to use to me. Okay, so, sue me, first of all. I need to stand for this, unfortunately. Now, just a heads up, I'm not amazing at piping, so these might not be great. But there'll be effort on the list. Okay, sue me. You gotta push it in at the end. Just so you can close it off. Don't run out of space. Me. There we go. Aww. God damn it. It was going so well. Let me get a. Let's see. Get a chopstick. You know what, since we don't have to do the full batch, we'll call that a test run and I'll do it again for her. Okay, sue me. Okay, I've got to push it in harder when I finish. Oh. 
Uh, and I let go, let go. Okay. Push it in. Oh, yeah. I'll do a little dot at the top. Let go. It might be a bit too thick, this. Okay. And since it's her, and she's been so kind over the years, I'll do a little heart as well. Okay, one down. Hopefully that dries nicely. So let me try one of these real quick. We'll try the test run one. Let's see. Tremola, I doubt my name will fit. I can try hyphenating it. Uh, but yeah, I need to tighten up my writing a bit more. We'll see. Mm. Pretty darn good. Good shit. If I do say so myself. Okay, so. Just a stranger with a playlist. Wants the term. Just the cat. Sorry. For the cat. Cat spelled C-A-T-T-E. So here we go. Oh, overhead. So. For. It's a terrible, tell you what, we'll make it a bit taller than the rest. Yeah, there we go. Or maybe not. That'll do. Yeah, this icing is way too thick. It keeps pulling it out of the bag when I pull it away. Okay. <clears throat> Dear, would you like to try the cookie? <clears throat> uh, this was a botched version of Sumi's cookie. For the cats, well, let me polish off this E a little bit. So we're regular piping, I'm not too bad, but icing, yeah, it's a bit of a crap shot. Probably should have made a buttercream one instead. Let me just clean that up. Okay. Cats. C A T T E. C A T. I'll do one line over here so we can just make it efficient. Let go, damn it. And E. Our E is going to be my nemesis. Okay. There we go. For the cat. 
I don't want to tilt it just in case. Yeah, for the cat. And that one is for just a stranger with a playlist. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Kitty eyes. Draw a cat. Oh boy. Would buttercream get solid enough though? If you um, add, I can't remember what it is, but if you add like another element to it. Hmm? Oh, star, yeah, stars. Sorry, star asked to draw a cat. Uh, there is like an element you can introduce to buttercream um, that can make it uh, solid, solidify quicker. I can't remember what it is. I think it might be cornstarch. But yeah, I saw one recipe for it. But I figured making this was quicker. Okay, draw a cat. Uh, <laughs> can I just draw a cat's face with that can? We'll draw a cat's face. Now you all get to learn how bad of an artist I am. Oh boy. Join in. There we go. Kind of looks more like Pikachu right now, but okay. Right. There's the nose. Stay flat, don't have a point. How do I draw a cat size in uh, piping? <laughs> <coughs> the emoji cat, okay, let's look at that. Uh, God damn it. God, my hands are shaky today. Where's me chopstick? Actually, that allowed it to have a nice flick to it. Happy accident. Okay. Let go, let go, let go, there we go. Uh, should I do like the slit eyes? Probably can't, you know, I'm just, sorry star, it's just gonna be regular orbs for eyes. Except they just spiked out there, that's not horrifying. Do I even have space for whiskers? I don't think so. Flatten that out a bit. Nope, made it worse, okay. Would you let go? I don't know, I need the paper towel. Yeah, I feel like this Icing probably could have done with a little bit more milk to soften it out. Okay. Much better than piping at me. I'm okay. I'm better at piping buttercream. Uh, I cannot remember the last time I piped with icing, but yeah. I don't know whether it's just me or whether it's like a, the piping itself. Let's try to put a whisk on there. Okay. 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 Not great, 
but there you go, Star. Your cat that you requested. Ooh. Not bad, I would say. Not great. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw a Yoko Taro face. So, first of all, tell you what, one second. I'm just going to go to my desktop and demonstrate what Yoko Taro looks like for those of you who aren't aware and see what I've got myself into here. And Okay, so here is Yoko Taro, and he is a bit of a recluse, and this is the mask that he wears in public. He's the person that uh, created Nier Automata and the original Nier. Um, he's kind of brilliant as a storyteller and a game designer and everything, uh, but yeah, he's a kooky guy, to say the very least. So we got to draw this face. I need to find a good profile face. Thank you for creating us, Father. Screw the haters. Okay. <laughs> I want to try just like a profile face of him. Preferably an illustration. Is there anything good here? Uh, that'll do, I think. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is going to be hard as hell with all those fucking teeth. Oh well, here goes. Alright. Yoko Taro. I'm looking at you from over yonder. Let me turn I'm gonna move these cookies up just so I have a better angle for this. So first of all I need a perfect circle for a head. No big deal. Okay. Oh yeah, overhead. Circle. Keep an even amount of pressure applied at all points keep moving try not to stall too much at the end you push it in lift it up it's not a great circle but it's good enough <laughs> probably shouldn't sit down for it sitting down is really bad for this okay so first he has two large creepy eyes large circular creepy eyes well, that just filled in immediately, didn't it? Okay. Take two. Slightly larger. Just filling in a tiny bit. Okay, that'll do. Second one. Another mouth. Uh, okay. Now it's got a arched upper lip. Oh yeah, it's got two little dots for nostrils. Stop doing that. God damn it. This looks nothing like it. And then the teeth. God help me. Okay. 
I'm trying to do these as fine as I possibly can. That was tough. <laughs> it's not very good. Uh, should I have like a line underneath his lips just to give it some more definition? Or whatever. Oh, yeah, he's got like two little dots at the side of his eyes to try putting those on. Let go, Jesus. Okay, put a tiny line. Okay. Well, it's the best I can do. That's more like a wish.com Jack Skellington or something. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much, Tanda, for your donation. I hope that is satisfactory. It's pretty good. Eh. I mean, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll give myself some credit. This stuff is really difficult to work with. It is very viscous. It definitely needed more milk uh, just because it's finding it very difficult to let go. So thank you, I'll accept the compliment. Okay, so next up is Zoe B, famous YouTuber Zoe B, who wants a bee. I don't think she's here right now, but get ready for this Zoe, it's the best bee you'll see in your life. I'm gonna do a cartoony bee, there's no point in doing a realistic one. Okay, so we'll do a big round fat body. Good enough. Let me try pushing more icing down. Do some wings. Imagine if right now I just made a perfect rendition of the B from B movie. <laughs> like somehow it was just in my intuition to make something like that. Okay. We'll do little B eyes. Little B smile. Not really a smile, but okay. And of course, some B stripes. And join. <sighs> Got an air bubble in the bag. Come on, fill it. Can fill up that stripe too. I need to get a toothpick just so I can uh, even that out. One second. I don't have any toothpicks, so bamboo skewer. How's he doing? Fine. Just sitting. Okay. Yeah. Is not thrown up again yet? No. Okay, good. Hopefully the nausea medicine will work. Yeah. So yeah, with this kind of thing, if you want to smooth out the texture, as odd as it is to say, you kind of want to just keep poking it until it starts getting smoother. So like you can see now, it's gone from being three lines to one smooth line, a stripe. I better start dinner, but I'll take the stream with me. I appreciate that. I always appreciate it when people leave it open in the background, you know? Numbers do count. 
What's for dinner tonight though, Tremolo? A big plate of peas. Don't know why I said that, that's a very random thing. Some poutine. Okay, another one. a slightly less thicker stripe on that one. You know, this isn't so bad. The mouth is kind of a mess, but I'm quite proud of the stripes. See if I can... No, the mouth has already started to solidify, so I won't touch that. Get this right. You know, I will say I am very jealous of those people that do like amazing piping pictures of uh, whatever on Instagram and whatnot. God, I'm jealous of that stuff. I'm gonna have leftover soup tonight. Ooh, what kind of soup? I'm off to make dinner. Hope your cat feeling better by tomorrow. I'll leave the stream running as you're doing a nice job narrating your piping. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Von Reich, thank you very much once again for your very, very generous donation. I do really appreciate it. You basically covered an entire expensive vet visit. So seriously, thank you very much. And my wife thanks you as well. Uh, Cause yeah, she doesn't appear on stream, but she is very, very thankful for it. So hope for the, hope the best for you. And I appreciate you being here. All right, we'll do some little, shall we put a stinger on it? Is it gonna be a harmful bee? We'll give it, shall we, we'll give it some little legs. Little bee legs. Don't do this. Yeah, a little bee leg. And yeah, we'll we'll give a little stinger. Just to let the world know, it means business. Or should I say, business. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. And we'll just pull that out a little bit, just to give it a bit of sharpness. Voila. Should I write? ZB on it, just a little bit of extra flair. I don't know if I have much room for it. You know, let, let, let's try it. Z. God, Z is a bad word to write in piping. There we go. Wonderbar. Z. Period. B. Don't fuck this up. Well, that B turned out great. <laughs> That's just the blob. shape it so it at least looks a little like a bee, a blob bee, or I can just wipe it off and try again. Can I do that? Yeah, probably. Whoop. Hey, Chihuahua. Okay. Take two. Okay, more pressure this time. Not emotionally, on the bag. The B. Kinda looks like an eight, but it's better. 
I'll show you in a second. Let go, why have you, what have you gone against punctuation, piping bag? Okay, let me just push this B in a little bit more. Okay. Let me hold this up. There we go. Rather disgruntled looking bee. <laughs> Not bad, if I say so myself. I know I keep saying that, but you know, this is sort of new to me. Okay, now, buddy, time for yours. Draw a little burb. So you can watch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, draw a burb. Uh, what kind of bird? I can do a classic one, just like a side profile of it. Let's see. Ah, the bag went off in a different direction, it distracted me. Ah, let go. Add a little bit more to the tail feather. Don't buck up. started out with such confidence on this one. Let me get rid of this leg. Okay. So let me make sure this bag is set properly this time. Okay. Do a beak. Good enough. I can fill that in with a skewer. And and the little eye. <laughs> it's kind of a shitty bird, I won't lie. Come on. Join these up. And shape the beak a bit. Just gonna spread it out. Just to make it a bit sharper. And try and round out this eye a bit. Just trying to pluck a bit off it. Feels like I'm doing surgery. And is it possible for me to make some kind of wing? Or would I be going too far? Let's see. No, well, that kind of works, I guess. Let me blend it in with a skewer. Okay. Uh, what do we think? 
Okay. So let me show it to my wife. What do you think? There's a bird. Really good. Okay. <laughs> this stuff is so hard to work with. <sighs> okay. Yes, but Birdie, do you like that one? I will ask you since you are present. Do you approve? So long as I get your approval and, you know, you're not trying to uh, placate me, I'm fine with that. You want a little bee on the cookie as well? Or shall we just leave it at that? It's your choice. Or perhaps a BB. In fact, I might want to take that back because I just had a, yeah, I just had very quick recollection error of drawing the bee on Zoe's thing, so I'll pass. Okay. Pokraj Roy. I know he's not here right now, but we shall do this. He wants his name on a cookie, so I need a pretty big one for his name. This should do. Would you like to eat your cookie, by the way? Okay, I'll make sure I get the spelling right here. No offense, Paul Crutch. P. Oh my god, almost just lifted the whole strip off there. Oh. H. Got to be very careful with the space here. lifting up whenever I finish a line. Oh boy. Going so well. We'll do a little filled in R here. It's artistic. <sighs> Poor Grouch. <laughs> can I fit this in? I don't think I can. <laughs> Sorry, Poor Grouch. Camus sniffing the stand. Where is it? Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, yeah. Camus is sniffing the stand mixer right now because it's on the floor. <laughs> He's suspicious of our stand mixer. Okay, well, luckily, his last name it's Pokraj and Roy. So I can do Roy easy enough. But yeah, that's. That's living on the edge right there without J. Okay. R. That's a better R. O. Y. There. Not too bad. 
albeit for the kerning issue. <laughs> there we go. All right. Dio. Super simple. Thank you, Dio. And after this will be Syndrome Noirs, your moustache. You know, we had way more of this icing left than I expected. It's good. That means I can just syringe it all into my mouth after the stream is over. Okay, Dio. I'll do this in big letters, actually. D. Uh, oh. Oh, stop. Beep. Dot the I. There we go. Thank you, Dio, for giving me a super easy one. And I think the mustache should be pretty easy too. Okay. So let me try to join these a bit easier. I might be overcomplicating things right now, but we will see. Okay. Say so that's a success. Also, it's worth noting that my handwriting isn't great in general. So, yeah. And then we'll just knock that down a bit. There we go. Dio, I know you're not here right now, but there you go. Your name on a cookie. And the last one. And like I said, if you are someone that is a member or if you left a super chat, please say your piece now because we'll be wrapping up after this last one is done. Okay, so let me get the bag in order again. I need to get the pressure pulled down. Okay, so mustache. We'll do like a old timey mustache, I reckon. God, it's drying up, I think. One side. Two side. Let's fill it in as well. Oh, hello, Curie. Can she be seen on camera? Because we've got the overhead on right now. No. She's rubbing herself against me. Can you? Yeah, I don't think you can see her right now. She's here. There she is. Hello. The one who is healthy. <laughs> Okay, and let me even this out. Yeah, fortunately, Curie is doing wonderful, as usual. She rarely has any issues with her, which is one hell of a contrast to Camus. Bless you. She sneezed. I feel like I've sort of done an incomplete picture of the Pringles guy with this one. I'll try and pull out the point of the mustache here.
one day I will get good at these at piping artwork and writing but that day is not today <laughs> all right syndrome here is your cookie a mustache ride looks like the Pringles guy now that I think of it <laughs> there, there, there you go all right um let's see uh, anyone here wants one as a, you know what, fuck it, I'll just throw one in as a bonus. Right, next person to say that they want one of their name, will get it done. Just to be generous. Let's see, Glacial Creations, would you like one? Curie. Are you okay? Switch back. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here is our selection. We got Dio. We got a bird. Pokerash Roy. Did my camera just go off? Yeah, my camera just went off. Okay. Out of battery? Yes, out of battery. Okay. Well, I guess that is my sign that it has to be wrapped up then. Uh, let me get some alternative here. One moment. Eh, one moment. Just trying to adjust my webcam to get the image up here. There's Curie. Okay. I have to squat. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Midna, my cat sends a love for Camu. I shall tell him. Let's see. Okay, let me just lift this up a bit. Angle's terrible. And we can wrap. Up. I can't wrap. Okay. Good enough. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Thank you for your contributions to helping us with Camu's vet bills and everything. They will all go towards a vet bill. It's not, you know, to me or anything like that. Uh, because, yeah, like I said, it's just been out of control. But, yeah, thank you for all your contributions. Uh, thank you. Let me see if I've got a bit of a breakdown list here. Uh, Sumi, Cat Lithe, just a, just a stranger with a playlist. Tremola, uh, Star, Kitty Eyes, Tender, Animated21, Doodle Oodle, Maker, Schlups, Zoe B., Birdie Blake, uh, Von Rech, uh, which, you know, was our very generous $300 donation. Thank you so much. Uh, Craig, Sarah Quick, The Mighty Mittens, Tim Hollibaugh, uh, Data Zaster, Pokeraj Joy, Dio, Anonymous, Ron, and Syndrome Noir. Pretty sure I end the patron credits with your name too, Syndrome Noir, don't I? Oh, what happenstance. Um, but yeah, everyone, um... Thank you very much for watching. This has been a very touching experience. I'm sorry about the technical issues. Um, I will see you again next week. I will keep you apprised of what's happening with Camus on the Discord server. Um, and yeah, I will post the images on there as well. Um, but in the meantime, uh, take care of yourselves and each other and go out there and bake. It's a great thing to do and it makes people happy. Uh, see you all next time. Take care and thank you once again, most seriously. Good day. <laughs>